So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And in this video guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you get this secret incantation. Now it's tied, well it's actually locked behind a storeroom which you need the key for. But it goes a little bit deeper than that. But today I will explain absolutely everything you need to know. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this Watchful Spirit Incantation is basically a secret one that is rewarded to you. But there's a few things you have to do first. But I will explain everything in this video. Summons a guardian spirit above the caster's head. A bit more details on it. The spirit never strays far from the caster, conjuring several apparitions. Which is exactly what it does do. Now at first I thought, this thing doesn't do damage or anything. But what it does do is, it does do damage and... I don't like damage, I'm not gonna lie. It's just a smaller folks, it goes straight over their head. I tried it here for about 10 minutes thinking, this ain't doing nothing. But it was hitting them, uh, but only when they're like above me and certain say if I was coming up this hill. And I was coming down towards me, that's when it would hit them. So it's definitely one for the bigger folks, the bosses, no doubt about it. Okay, so how this is unlocked is, well... It's, it's a weird one, you wouldn't just come across it by accident, you actually have to go a little bit deeper than what you'd think. So first things first guys, you need to get the storeroom key. So I'll go to exactly where that is located, so let's go to the Shadow Realm. And you want to come to this grace about there. The Balurat Tower Settlement. So that's where we're going to go to guys, or the small private altar, which is the one after this. But we'll go to this one and then I'll run to the, uh, the next grace. Uh, but there's a few things you need to actually do to actually uh, to get this actual um, incantation. So from here, guys, you want to run forward. And be careful here because there's a big dude, hard-hitting dude, just to the right here. So we're going to dodge out of the way of him, just like so. And then we're just going to run up here, guys. This is probably a great you've already got. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Oh, my health. Jeez, get up, get up, run. Run, motherfucker. Okay, so you want to run up here guys, you want to take a left inside here and just up here is that next grace we just checked out on the map. So you want to activate that if you haven't already and sit down at this grace. Okay, so from here guys, this is where you get the key. So you want to come up here, ignore this dude. You don't want to fight that, well you can fight him, he's not too bad. Drop some great gear, great armor. Uh, you want to come up here guys, you want to jump up here just like so. You want to come around here ignoring all these enemies. Okay, so the guy's going to jump out there, just take him out, take him out too. And you're probably best jumping over here. Because there's a hard hitting guy right below you there, and one right there. So you just want to jump down and run. Straight up this ladder. As fast as you can. And at the top of this guys, on this body right here will be the storeroom key. That is where you get the storeroom key from. Now, let's just avoid all these and go back to that grace point. It's not gonna let me. So I'll cut the video. Okay, so we are back at the small private altar uh, grace point, which is right there on the map. From here, guys, this is where you locate that storeroom. So right here, guys, take these guys out. They're only gonna chase you and just do your head in. Okay, so run through here. Uh, this is a storeroom. This door will be locked. Open the room up. And across here is a woman. Now, when you try and speak to her, as you're seeing on the screen now, she basically won't respond to you. This is a woman who gives you this incantation. Now, to actually get the incantation, you firstly, guys, have to defeat the divine beast dancing lion. Now he's the first major boss you, I think you have to fight. And I'll show you the location to exactly where this guy is. So we're just going to head back to that grace point. I'll show you the exact route from here. It's quite a trek if you haven't already got there. But if you have, you should be good. Uh, and you can skip the video, just use the timestamps down below. Uh, so you want to come this way. Run past this guy, it don't really matter. You're not quick enough, boy. Get out of here. Again, you want to jump up there and go around this way, just like so. Jump down here, just like so. Take out the guys, because they will hit you. Then guys, you want to jump up here again, so avoid them big guys chasing you. Jump this way. Run up that ladder, just like that. 
Kill up that ladder, boy. Kill up that ladder, boy. Okay, so from here, guys, we're going to run up these uh, stairs and keep coming. I'm going to take a right. I'm going to have to go this way. Try and avoid these birds. I mean, they're not hard to take out, but just for the purpose of the video, not make it last too long. We're going to run this way. And it's probably a different route, but this is the route I took. Get out of here, bird. That guy with a pot on his head. Where are you running to? There's also a big hitting guy here. You may want to try and avoid too. I don't want to farm him because I want that sword. Okay, so now, guys, we go this way. So there's a few enemies you do have to run around, run past. And just like so. And then we want to run up these stairs here and get my stamina back. And keep coming. And there's an enemy up here too, which I want to farm. Because that them weapons he looks to use look badass. And I need them in my life. I need them in my inventory. Okay, so now we're gonna run up here, and this is the grace point you want to activate. Okay, so right here, guys, is that divine beast dancing lion boss fight. So once you go in here, guys, you'll fight the boss. Now you have to defeat the boss because when you defeat the boss guys he gives you this thing right here it is called the divine beast head once you have the divine beast head you then guys want to go back to that storeroom area so again the small private altar load in Uh, once it loads in, no, Xbox Series X, I apologise about that. Go back to that storeroom. Again, take these guys out. They're going to do your heading. Run this way. And now you simply put that head on, as you're seeing on the screen now. Wear the mask. That divine beast head. And speak to this lady. Clear her dialogue and speak to her again. And once you've cleared it out, guys, she will give you... This incantation. And that's basically how you get it. That's how you solve the mystery of the woman in the storeroom too. You need to be wearing divine beast dancing lion mask or helm. And there you have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.